Well, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Real Truck Simulator 2. I'm your host, RAS2484. Right now, we're in Rotterdam, and uh, last video, we found the garage that we want to purchase, but we don't have enough money for it yet. So, uh, we're going to do a couple of cargoes. So, today, we're going to take some apples from Rotterdam to uh, Magdeburg, uh, Germany. So, I'm going to set the... GPS navigation to take us to it. Alright. Sorry I had to forgot to, I forgot to turn my uh So our goal let's see why 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 are we part fifty eight? Let's see by part sixty I want to go ahead and uh, purchase that garage. I can't do this without this. Alright, so. You can also do that if you want to. Whatever sit your fancy. <laughs> okay, so the goal by part 60 is we're going to get have enough money to um, buy us that garage, because I want that garage. So, thing is, I don't know what the hell I'm going to stash there. I'm probably going to... Um, You know what? Now that I think about it, that's probably not going to be the wisest decision yet. Because um, I want to go ahead and purchase that. I thought it was 100,000 euros, but I got mixed up, of course. And, um, yeah, we'll just see what happens. I mean, okay, well, here we go. I'll go ahead and take the job here. Go ahead and start, um, discovering some of these towns in Germany because there's a lot of these in Germany we have not uh, discovered yet so um. is that it? let's see let's drop by and see nope there it is okay just right there I love backing it into uh, to get loads like that. It feels more realistic to me. <laughs> At bird's eye view, I think it's kind of cheating. So there's no, really no way that real drivers can do that. <laughs> Let's say if I can't, some weird camera set up or something. I don't know. Why would you want to do that? I don't know. Just maybe they just want to do it that way. I don't know. Um, <laughs> beats the hell out of me. Well. Well, let's get this uh, cargo underway, shall we? So, we're taking this all the way to Germany, huh? 
Germany, Germany needs some apples for apple pies or, ooh, apple pies. That was one weird looking truck. I, I don't know, those, um, some of these delivery trucks here in Europe are actually kind of cool looking, those little, um, because you can get those trucks that only have three wheels. I know you can get, uh, there's some small little company that, that makes them here that sells them here in the United States somewhere and um, they uh, yeah these those trucks are supposed to get like 50 miles a gallon and they only they're only available to manual transmission and you know I, I saw it I saw it like on a show some long time ago I don't, I don't remember where the hell it was though Well, I'm pretty sure I'll think of it later. That probably was a show on TLC, I think. Don't really know. Oh no, I'll think of it. Today we're going to be using all turn signals and we're not going to get these freaking speed defenses or any type of defenses at all. So I don't know about y'all, but I'm getting really tired of that shit. So, oh. Those lights are staying on, so we won't get that stupid, ridiculous, no, you know, that uh, no headlight offense or whatever the hell they call it. That was just bullshit last time. So, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go the speed limit as much as possible. Then uh, we're gonna look out for um, speed cameras and see if we can make some good time today. So, past few times either had some sort of damage or some some weird crap. I don't know. Also, I'd like to give me some more drivers. I'm, I'm interested in that. So. So I think what I think what we, I need to do first is um, I got to fill up my current garage. So I, I know I have two more slots. I can buy some more trucks. Probably buy a couple more Volvos. Um, Oh, because out of all the trucks so far, I think Volvos have the best, uh, I don't know, have the best steering. Some are too sensitive, like the, um, DAVs. I've driven those, and those, that steering's too sensitive. I, I even, I turn the steering sensitivity all the way down, and I still have issues with it. So, I mean, I don't know if there's like a, I don't know, probably be better with a steering wheel or something, and that's probably why I'm having such trouble. You probably need a steering wheel to, to uh, drive a lot of these, you know, properly. But the Volvos I like because their steering steering's more refined. They just, you know, it's tight enough to where you don't really have to move it that much. But it's not too sensitive to where you're going all over the damn road when you're pressing the arrow keys on the keyboard. So that that's just me. So I'm not saying DAVs are actually like that. It's just a uh, it's just what I've experienced in the game so far. So, okay, we're uh, gonna be passing by Amsterdam. We go by Amsterdam a lot, actually. Um, I want to do uh, Rotterdam because it's pretty close to the uh, docks. Um, in my other file, I, my uh, my first headquarters is in, uh, and it was is in Amsterdam. So, um, I'm gonna speed limit. 
right near in Amsterdam. Does it right here? Yes, there it is. See, I, kn I knew it. I knew it. We're getting close to Amsterdam, because Amsterdam and Rotterdam are actually pre are pretty close to one another. So, here in the Netherlands. So, I'm probably gonna have to open me a garage in Amsterdam just for the hell of it, you know? Because maybe Rotterdam and Amsterdam. See, there I go. I rant. I rant and rave about not getting a speeding ticket at Ben. Look what fucking happens. You know? See what I mean? Yeah, well, screw it now. Yeah. I mean, I was not going to give me a ticket today, but every time I give me a stupid speeding defense, because I'm not watching my, D, my speed, because, uh, it's hard for this truck to go stand underneath 50, so <laughs> I can't help that. <laughs> well, man, we'll screw it this episode, I guess. We'll have to wait till next episode. I want one episode where I didn't get no stupid offense. Send me five or six hundred euros, you know? I mean, that's all I, all I ask for. But every video, I always get some stupid little offense. So, just irritating. Well, I hope everybody's enjoying the uh, new episode of Diablo 3 I just did. Um, by the time this video comes out, yeah, it'll already be uploaded. So, it's part uh, part 25 of Diablo 3. Um, about damn time I actually did that one. So, I just was not in the mood to play it, you know. I was thinking, oh, what the hell. I mean, I've not touched that in a while, so it's... It's quite fun, you know. I mean, the uh, the game's randomly generated, generated, so it's never the same. So, I mean, what was Blizzard got to lose as far as work co recordings are all going to be different? It's what makes the game so unique. Oh well, that works too. Now, Majestics and Ren, uh, Renwalls have, are not that bad. I've not seen Renwalls in a while. I don't know what's. I don't know what happened to them. I mean, I don't know if they got replaced by Volvo or I don't, I don't know what's going on. I seriously have not run into any of those dealerships. I mean, it'd be funny if we get to Germany and uh, that's the first dealership we see. <laughs> that would be funny. I also want to see a Mercedes-Benz dealership. I don't know if they have... I know they have Mercedes-Benz in this game, but I, I have not seen any dealerships yet. So I guess I guess we'll find out, won't we? So. God, I love how this truck moves. It's so... Oh. Gotta be careful with it though, speeding defenses, yeah, they can really eat you up, but if you have the uh, uh, speed limiter on, it only it should go to about 90 kilometers an hour, so. So yeah, I just don't do that, because it takes forever to get anywhere. Because I did that first, because I didn't know that speed limiter was there, because I don't think the option was even there. I think when I got the update, that's when the, the uh, option was there. I'm like, oh, I'm just turning that shit off. Because I don't really need it, you know? I've, you know, I've played this uh, game so damn long, I really don't need that. So, that's just really meant for, like, beginners and stuff that they really don't, you know, they're really just getting used to this game, because I'm used to it now, you know? I play the older games, and I'm like, oh my god, I do some terrible at them now, you know? It's like Girl Truck Simulator, which uh, I know I just finally re fucking re released a, a part of that over the weekend. I know, but uh, so I'm. It's
it's not really a schedule, just whenever the hell I feel like doing that, because I know past few episodes I just uploaded, you know, like, um, I think this is part of, what, 58, 59, something like that. Um, so, yeah, I mean, did that, and over the weekend I did um, Diablo 3, and, uh, uh, yeah, hopefully, that's, hopefully it turns out like that, that way. So I'm recording this on a Wednesday, and it probably won't be uploaded until next week, so. I like to be ahead, you know. Uh, that's, I'm starting to lock that, because I, you know, me releasing a video a day just really kind of helps. I don't know. It makes it more enjoyable. I, it's really hard for me to explain, really. I mean, because you're not, I'm not absolutely overwhelmed, but on days I don't really want to do it, I still can bring you guys content. I mean, that's, I mean, that's awesome, you know? And still, my videos have no ads on them. I mean, I can't tell you how many times, you know, it's like, oh, it's like, how about you modernize? I mean, you know, well, you have to turn, you have to turn your freaking ads on, which I'm not doing, you know? I'm like, I'm not really doing this for money, you know? even if I did, I'm going to try to figure out some way not to put advertisements all over, you know, all over the fuck my videos. I mean, I just, I don't like that. I mean, it's like, it's like watching TV. I know you have to watch commercials and stuff, it's just given. In DVRs, you can skip them, you know? So that's why I DVR most all my programming, so the news and stuff, which... I mean, you really can't, really can't help that, but, you know, the hell want to DVR the news, I mean, really, you don't have that much going on in your life, you know, I'm just, I'm just saying. Oh, in, in the guardrail. <laughs> Ooh, that's gonna fucking hurt. <laughs> I have so much damn material. I mean, really, just I like the patience. And that's why I hate it when they force me on one of those uh, small two-lane roads. I, mean, I just have no patience for that. I mean, I like to get where I'm going. You know, I mean, I don't, I don't want to drive dangerously. Dangerously. I mean, this is a driving simulator. I'm like, it really doesn't matter. But I mean, in real life, I don't drive like this. I don't drive a truck. I mean, I just drive a little, small little, you know economy car, that's all I really drive, so, you know, that's, that's really the only thing I have right now, so, and well, I spoke too soon, <laughs> guess we're about to go on a small road, that's absolutely wonderful, so, ha <laughs> ha, See, there I was. I was, I was, I was ranting again, and almost got me another fucking speed ticket. See, that's, see, there I go. I mean, I don't know if I ever will break, break this fucking curse. I don't know. I'm, I tend to be in a very argumentative mood today. I don't know. I don't know why. I just am. And who came up with this design right here? I mean, seriously. I mean, it's actually it's actually it's actually quite accurate. It's 
as far as I know. See, that guy's not turning. That guy's turning. I think he's turning. Uh, are you stopping? Well, I hope you're stopping. That's right. Dumbass. All right. <laughs> Actually, we're going to get on one of the side streets here. We're going to go by Osenbrook. You know, we need to visit there. <laughs> Is that... I had a feeling that we've been down this road before. I really don't know if we have or not. It's highlighted in red because of our GPS, but if it's orange, it's not highlighted in red. And that means we've been there. But if it's shaded out gray, that means we've not been there. So... That's pretty much the, I wouldn't say orange, probably yellow, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, when I draw like this, I'm an aggressive asshole. Yeah, that's, you know, it just, you know, that's just how it turned out to be, you know, since I'm driving in Houston all the time. Traffic sucks. Nobody knows how to drive in Houston. Eh. I come from Dallas, Texas, in the United States, and yeah, the drivers are assholes, but they, you know, they won't do stupid shit like turn right of a left turn lane, or you know, you know, do stupid shit like that. You know, they do run lights. I mean, and they are assholes, and they won't speed and you know, cut you off and stuff. But here, there's fucking psycho. You know, I'm just saying. About 250 kilometers left, so yeah, we're making some good time today. I'm tired of the really long, um, the really long hauls. So I probably won't be doing that for a while. Um, oh, great. Eh. Stuck behind a stupid bus. That's great. It's only 60 through here. Uh, I never go that speed on these small roads. Well, I go into little towns, I do, because they, uh, a lot of them have speeding cameras, but, you know, other than that, I'm like, no. Okay, well, we're about to go on a major highway, so that's not too bad. That's good, because that's, that's going to get old real fast. I gotta wait for all the traffic to come. That's gonna be hours from now. Come on. Right. Now you gotta watch it because sometimes it will stop right at the fucking end. Of you know, if the lane, if the lane end, the entry ramp ends, they sometimes like to sit there and kind of hold shit up. I don't know why they do it that way, but, you know, because I, I almost ran into them a, a few times when I played this game, so. Luckily my, luckily, my drivers are actually doing pretty good. I mean, I think I made a wise decision about which ones uh, which ones to hire and which ones not to. Um, I think the ones that have less uh, 
that have less experience are the one that I, I would like to hire because they're, they're going to be the more profitable ones, you know, because they seem to do pretty good. It's like Jeff and Mark are now at 2.5. Well, I hired them there at 1.7, so I'd like to hire someone that's 0.8 and really, and really level them up, you know, and get, give them a whole bunch of experience. Maybe, you know, I don't know if they have it to where these drivers will like to go on out on their own or they just quit randomly or something and now you're just stuck with another truck, you know. It's, I really don't know how that fucking works, but, you know. Bus, I swear to fucking god. This bus is gonna be is gonna just pissing me off. I'm tired of going fucking sixty kilometers an hour. The bus is getting on my damn nerves. <laughs> trickier to drive at night. I don't know. I've shown all times of day, but, you know, it, still. Nighttime really kind of troubles me, you know? I mean, there's not as much traffic and you can easily um, get to where you're going, especially on the smaller roads at night, but it just, it's pitch black. I mean, seriously, when you go on the small roads, there are no traffic lights or street lights, so it's really freaking black. That's absolutely crazy. Okay, we got a cut slot curve here. I'm trying to be more, uh, I'm trying to have better commentary, but you know. <laughs> Let's see, there's that little thing up. I guess that means a speed camera. Wherever that is in German, what it says in German, I think it's, it means it's a speed camera or something like that. Constantly checking y'all the SCS uh, software's website for any updates on American Truck Simulator, and I'm and I've not heard a, a single thing about it just yet. But uh, so I don't even know when they're going to be releasing the Scandinavian DLC because I really want that. I know they're going to be uh, working on other DLCs. This game and the American Truck Simulator, when it comes out, they're going to be, you know constantly being updated, so this game isn't going anywhere, you know it's not like, I'll oh, make a simulator and stuff, just cities or just have 3x3 three three streets with generic buildings and stuff, no so, remember, that's not really the case anymore, people are not interested that, in that anymore they want more realism of course if you throw in too much realism, like all this fucking speed offense crap that, you know, it's gonna turn people off, you know and that's one of my major um, issues with uh, 18 wheels of steel is that they're, uh, you know, it's how 
how their um, law enforcement um, AI works, where you have that bar, which you, know, you speed, it goes up or down, and they can pull you over, for, even if you're not speeding at that current time. I seriously don't think that's fair. I mean, this... Um... Okay. <laughs> well, this is not good. <laughs> well, um, okay. Oh, um, Well, that's never happened before. <laughs> Welcome to Magdalburg. <laughs> wow. Yeah, we're going to get nothing out of this load. Holy crap. Okay, well, um... Huh. Alright then. <laughs> Looks like we, uh, we made it to Madelberg. <laughs> that, I was not expecting that to happen. I guess we were going too fast or something. Alright. Well... Um, honestly, y'all, I don't, really don't know what much to say about that. We've literally fucked this cargo to hell. <laughs> Alright, well, um, we'll see y'all. That's what happens when your truck overturns. You really can't do anything, so. Um, alright, well, uh. Yeah, this is gonna this is gonna cost me some money. So <laughs> I'm not really gonna get much out of here. I'm not even I'm not even gonna bother backing it up. What's really the point? You know? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, that, that was bad. All right. That I I seriously didn't think I never had that happen before. So yeah. So they they had to, they had to, they had to pretty much had to tell me so. Tolerable. <laughs> God. So I wound up getting... I ended up getting only 146 experience out of that. Because they took 494 experience away from that. Because I had to... I had that accident. Uh... Yeah, that's probably not the <laughs> best way to... You know, I might even get to deliver them for a while. I'm, it's kind of... Yeah, um... Seriously, y'all? I don't know what to say about that. Well, let's, um... Let's go around town, since it's, it's late at night. Um... Just kind of ponder about over what happened here. Oh, hopefully no one was coming there. Uh... See, it looks like there's really nothing in, in this town that's really worth checking out, but... Okay, well, you know, I have to admit, I was going a little too fast, I guess, and I just fucking flipped over. <laughs> it's like, oh. Well. <laughs> I just had never had that happen before. Wow. Um. Uh, okay. Um. Okay, well, maybe y'all, maybe I need to take a break or something. I don't know. I don't know what to do now. Well, let's just fill out some of the uh, map here at, at Metalburg. Just... Um. Hmm. 
Well, shit. I just didn't really think that was going to happen. Seriously. Okay, Robert. Maybe, maybe we just need to slow our asses, our, our asses down from now on. So, we're just gonna be driving. I don't know where the hell we're going right now. I'm just kind of. Yeah, looks like most other places are either closed or not really, not really interested in us right now. So, right. So we're just gonna go to that garage over there. Just gonna. Try to, you know, drive around town, see what's around here. Um, well, we already figure out where the uh, uh, repair shop was. Because <laughs> they literally had to tow us, and it costed us money. So. Well, looks like to me that we weren't, you know, they had to, literally had to uh, tow us to, the, to our... Uh, Delivering city. So. Wow. So, um. How much is this garage for, anyway? Just curious. Oh, so they're all 180? Okay, well, there is a garage here, but it's not, uh, we can't, I guess they're all 180 euros. I, th I thought some of them were, you know, different sizes, I guess not. Well, let's just go ahead and get out of here, because <laughs> I think Mailburg, we're, it's not, we're not going to have a location here. So, yeah. <laughs> well, this is the, uh... <laughs> This is the only cargo that they have right now. So... <laughs> have we been to... I don't even know if we've actually been to Torino. I don't really know, honestly know, to be honest with you. So I'm going to go ahead and take it. This, uh, this is the only place here in this town, so... Because other things are either closed or not accepting any shipments right now. Oh, I guess we're going to Italy, y'all. Eh. I have no idea how long this episode's going to be. I really don't know. I'm just... I'm just going to film until I get tired. a little bit easier with the... Uh, wait a sec. So that means we don't really get any protection at all. So we're going to have to be very careful what we're doing here. I mean, it's late at night, so it's not really... No, oh, that guy's turning right, right there, so... Alright, let, let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> So we won't be coming back to this town anytime soon, so... Uh, yeah. Oh, there is a... Looks like there is another company like, way on the outskirts, but... Eh, I necessarily want to drive there, so we'll just... Take whatever's closest and just get the hell out of here. Yeah, we'll 
we'll be probably seeing some areas we probably have not seen yet. So that's probably good because man, I can't see shit. I have to admit, y'all, that was some very terrible driving on me. I do apologize for that. I really do. I mean, I'm, I really wasn't expecting that. <laughs> what are these guys doing? Following me? I guess they're trying to get out of that. They're trying to get out of that town, too. <laughs> I seriously don't blame them. <laughs> Maybe there are witnesses to my, to my, uh, uh, turn over there and it affected them so where they had to follow me 250 kilometers make sure I'm okay and now they're getting the fuck out of whatever um, whatever city that was and start with an M I already forgot it I can already tell you I'm getting the fuck out of here that's <laughs> that was that was a complete disaster there <laughs> Well, it looks like we probably do have enough money to at least buy another truck, at least. I don't know, I'll probably be doing that at the end of this. Probably when we do this haul, let's go ahead and uh, I'm hire me another driver. Buy me another Volvo or Majestic or something. Because Majestics are okay. Okay, well, I just, sorry, I just can't get over that. <laughs> it's like, wow. Okay, well, we're just going to be watching our speed from now on. That, that cost me a lot of money, yeah, a lot of experience, so, uh, yeah, I'm not too happy about that. Well, actually, I came out uh, negative anyway because I had, I had to pay for the uh, for them to tell me to wherever that was. And it, me that tumble over like that, those uh, wherever we were hauling had 15% damage. So yeah, it didn't, didn't really work out too well for it. <laughs> you know. We're just probably just going to be watching our speed from now on, you know? I mean, that's what happens when you get into a hurry like that, is that you just, uh... Oh, that's kind of cool, the moon behind the... My mirrors like that, that's really cool. I love that, the, uh... I love the light, the, uh... The lighting that they've done to this game, it's really nice. really in the middle of nowhere here so yeah this is not really faring too well
Well, this is the highest my uh, my headlights will go. This is the brightest they will go. Um, because yeah, I, when you turn them on, they just I guess those are, those are daytime, and then you have your lights. I guess. I'm like, I thought I had my lights on. They still gave me a 150 euro ticket for that. I'm like, what? You fucking kidding me? Sorry, Chuck, you're going way too slow. Oh, well, that, all right, y'all, that's my timer, so that's going to be it for the, for this first part. And the uh, second part of, of this, uh, in the uh, next, uh, next video, we'll continue on with where we left off. I'll see you back in just a minute.